Hi, and welcome to another music theory lesson. Uh, this is for the advanced music theory curriculum as part of the NCSSM piano and guitar class. And today's lesson is sort of a primer on understanding the church modes. Now I gotta tell you, this is one of those concepts that once you get it, you're gonna be just shocked at how easy it is. And everything goes back to the major scale. If you think through all of the music theory uh, levels that you've done with me, you know that I've said many, many times, if you really know the major scale pattern of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, you can figure out just about anything in music theory. And this is another expression of that. Um, there are some vocabulary terms here that you'll need to essentially memorize. But once you start getting the idea of the church modes, you'll be in great shape. So let's um, take a look at the church modes and see uh, if we can explain this. Um, the church modes are essentially um, a variety of variations on the major scale. Now, if you look on your screen, you're going to see that the Ionian mode starts on the first step of the major scale. And if we're using just white keys, that would be the C. And the interval sequence, as we've always said with the major scale, and you look to the, to the right, you'll see whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. The T's represent whole steps, the S's represent semitones or half steps. Okay, so T represents the word tone or whole, whole step, whole tone. Okay, so whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, as we move on, and that's known as the Ionian mode, and we know that as the major scale. The Dorian mode is when we use all the white keys from D to D. And the tonic of the Dorian mode essentially is the second step of the major scale. So think of the pattern if you were to start on D and end on D using all white keys. The pattern would be the one that you see on the right, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. Or if you compare that second line with the line above it, you'll notice that we've essentially just shifted the whole step, half step pattern over by one. Okay, so we're staying on all white keys from D to D. That's known as the Dorian mode. When we move to the Phrygian mode, it's just as if we were starting on the white key E, and we again shift the whole step, half step pattern to the left by one, and now the pattern is half, whole, 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 half, whole, whole. I'm hoping at this point you're starting to get the idea. The Lydian mode begins on the fourth step of the major scale. The Mixolydian mode begins on the fifth step of the major scale. The Aeolian mode begins on the sixth step of the major scale. And you ought to be looking at that one going, well, wait a second, I know the Aeolian mode. It is the same as natural minor. And that would be true, okay? Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. That ought to really uh, resonate for you. So uh, hopefully you'll begin to see these patterns. And of course, the Locrian mode starts on the seventh step of the major scale. And in that case, on the white keys, it would be a B. And the whole step, half step pattern continues to shift to the left, like so. And if we were to do that even one more time, we would begin here on the whole step, and you would notice that we would have whole, whole, half, whole, 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 and half, which would give us, uh, which would get us right back to the major tonality, okay? So at this point, I hope you understand at least the vocabulary terms as they're associated. Now let's go to the staff and take a look at the two ways that we're going to be doing this. We can really do things two ways. Um, one is we might say, okay, um, give me a, let's say, a Dorian mode 
based on any given pitch. So let's let's uh, put uh, start with the note G, and we want to establish a scale that's a Dorian mode based on the note G. Well, the first thing we know is we have to represent every single letter. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We've got those represented. Now let's go to the Dorian mode here and we see that our whole step half step pattern is whole half whole, whole whole half whole. So we're going to go back, G to A. Well, in fact, let's just do this. Whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. Whole, whole, half, whole. Okay? Now, G to A is a whole step. We don't need to change anything. A to B flat gives us our half step. Okay? B flat to C is, in fact, a whole step. C to D is in fact a whole step, D to E is in fact a whole step, E to F is in fact a half step, and F to G is a whole step. So this would be the G Dorian scale. Okay? So that's how we would establish a Dorian tonality or a Dorian mode from any given pitch. So that's the first thing we could do. Or we might find ourselves in a different situation where we have um, uh, something like, um, let's do this. I'll give you a scale. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, Oops, A, okay? And let's write those down. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now, you've got the scale, and now I give you the assignment. Tell me what is the mode, okay? What's the mode? And the way you would do that is find your whole step, half step pattern. So we would go here and go, okay, A to B, whole step, B to C sharp, whole step, C sharp to D, half step, D to E, whole step, E to F sharp, whole step, F sharp to G, half step, and G to A, whole step. Okay, so we've got the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole. Go back up here, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, and we can see that that pattern matches up with the Mixolydian pattern. And so what we have here is an A Mixolydian scale. And I might even put the natural sign there because one of the characteristics of the Mixolydian scale is that it's just like a major scale with a flatted seventh. I happen to know that, so I'm ready to go. And you'll see that that's actually the case. So here is our Mixolydian scale. Now, just one other little thing, just to take it just a step further, you'll notice that in this particular scale, we have a C sharp and we have an F sharp. And you know that two sharps is typically the key of D major. And the Mixolydian scale, if we go back here, as you can see, starts on the fifth step of the major key. And sure enough, the A Mixolydian is the fifth step of the key of D major. So everything matches up here, and we can really see what's going on. In your work with modes, you will have two different uh, situations. You'll either be asked to write a scale based on a starting pitch or 
you will be asked to take a look at a mode or a scale and determine what mode it is. Either way, I think now you've got the tools to do that. Good luck as you dive into the church modes. These are very useful in a lot of ways and are used all over the literature from early medieval music all the way into contemporary uh, composition. So good luck and we'll look forward to seeing you again.